In this tutorial, I show you how to install Pluto.jl in Julia. Pluto is a Julia specific package equivalent to Jupyter Notebook in Python. However, it has its own spatial features. After the installation of Pluto package, I talk about its general usage in Julia. To install the Pluto package, you have to open up the Julia REPL. Make sure everything is working correctly. In the Julia REPL, hit the right square bracket to go into the package mode. To install the Pluto package, type add Pluto in package mode in Julia REPL. Then you have to wait for the installation to finish. Depending on your system specifics and your internet connection, it might take some time. So pour some coffee and wait for it. After the Pluto package is added to our Julia environment, we can hit backspace to get out of the package mode. You can hit Ctrl L at the same time to clean up the REPL output. Now type import Pluto to import Pluto package in our Julia REPL. A message is shown saying that start a notebook server using Pluto.run. So we type Pluto.run in the REPL. A message is shown giving us an address which is on the local host but depending on your system you might get another URL. Whatever your URL is, make sure to copy and append the question mark secret to whatever URL you are given. Or if you are using the local host, simply click on the local host link given. Now in your browser you will see some environment similar to Jupyter Notebook. There are some featured notebooks in this page that you can scroll and click on whichever you like to learn something about the Pluto.jl package. From visualization to image processing, plotting functions, machine learning and whatever you like. To open up a new notebook, click on create a new notebook. This is the Pluto.jl package environment. It's just a notebook that you type some commands and get some output instantly. For example, I can type some message like print this is numerist. To run this line of code, I go to the bottom right corner and click on that button or I can hit shift enter. You can also see some information at the bottom right showing the time it's taken to run the command in microseconds. You can click on the I at the top left to show or hide the code block. You can also click on the plus button or hit control enter to add a new cell. Now I type print and print an important message in this cell. Then I hit shift enter to see whether it works. You can also delete a cell by clicking on the three dots on the top right corner and clicking on delete cell. After hitting delete cell at the bottom left corner of the page, you can see that you can undo deleted cell by clicking on undo. To save your notebook, you can go at the top of the page and type the name of your notebook file. Then you click on the choose and the notebook will be saved. You can also export your Pluto notebook in different formats by clicking on the export button. You can export it as a notebook file, a static HTML, PDF, and you can also record any changes you make to your notebook. At the bottom right corner, you can go to the live docs to check out documentation for different commands in the Julia. And of course, the documentation provides some examples for the commands that you want to use. Or click on the status to see some benchmarks related to your Pluto notebook. You can click on the status again to hide this section. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to not lose future content on Julia programming language. Also check out my Julia programming for beginners playlist. As always, see you all later.